So our impacts of global change project is on the impacts on fisheries. So first of all, what is a fishery? A fishery is the enterprise or industry of going out and catching fish. And this is a very valuable resource for our society because not only is it a source of revenue um, and thousands of jobs depend on it, but it's also a huge source of biodiversity. And we use fish from everything, for food, for research, for biotechnology, all these, all these different uses. Um, but there's also a lot of factors that affect fisheries and most of them are negative. So any change to ocean chemistry can <clears throat> disturb a fishery, changes to salinity and pH, ocean temperature, harmful fishing techniques, pollution, uh, specifically nutrient runoff that causes eutrophication and anoxic dead zones, um, changes to currents and upwelling, nutrient upwelling, and invasive species can also uh, harmfully impact fisheries. Taking a look in the past can help us provide context for our current problems in fisheries. In Mediterranean regions, naturalists recorded fish species and collected data in the early 20th century that showed an increase in fish catch rate, which is the total weight of fish in one ship. In Scottish fisheries, there is anecdotal evidence and historical data that shows increases of weight in fish landings. In stories told by fishermen, there weren't enough fish due to this overfishing. However, the actual fish populations fluctuated throughout the 19th century. In the New World, the discovery, the discovery of the Americas gave new opportunities and untapped resources for the new settlers in this new land. These new waters had fish in abundance compared to the waters back in Europe, for example, the sturgeon and cod. However, by the time of the American Revolution, these fisheries were at a state similar to those back in Europe due to this massive overfishing. For example, fishermen would hunt, would hunt whales, causing their populations to greatly decrease. A common method used in the past was bottom trawling, which is basically taking a large net and dragging it along the sea floor, which scoops up populations of fish, but also drags along this net, which destroys habitats. Another popular method used was damming rivers to trap fish populations, which allowed for easily controlled growth and harvesting of these fish. So oceans today uh, have absorbed most of the energy from climate change, specifically as we can see from the graphic to the right, 90% of that em energy, and that's caused uh, increasing ocean temperatures and which has caused a lot of problems uh, that we can that we see today within that environment where oceanic warming has caused reduced currents and upwelling of nutrients and most relevant towards fisheries it's caused small fish to have a faster growth rate than large fish and this is specifically problematic because small fish can outcompete larger fish potentially and what fisheries are doing right now is they're fishing those larger fish a lot so if those small fish start to outcompete the larger fish, that creates a whole nother issue. And specifically today, current fishery practices, under they've underexploited or moderately exploited fish stocks have dropped from 40% to 18%, whereas overexploited or depleted or recovering fish stocks have risen from 10% to 32%. And essentially what this means is that we're fishing the same fish over and over again and completely ignoring a whole other population of fish. And that's go going to cause uh, like obvious issues because we're overfishing a finite resource. So that's eventually going to run out. And wild fisheries have been producing a lot of fish over the past 70 years, where today they're producing 77 million tons of fish per year. And that number back in 1950 was around 16 million tons. So there's a drastic increase uh, from then to now. And this, these patterns are similar to megafauna extinctions where environmentally stressed populations were finished off by human hunting. So in today's scenario with fisheries, it's called the climate change, which is that environmental stressor is going to cause a lot of issues for the fish populations. And there can be an increased chance of extinction for some fish populations because of current fishery practices and how they're overfishing certain types of fish populations. 
One of, one of the biggest impacts of climate change as it continues to warm the oceans is a de decrease in biodiversity, especially towards the, uh, towards the equator. As the oceans warm, especially on the equator, it becomes way too hot for those fish to continue to live there, and they're going to start moving towards the poles. That means that fisheries, as shown in this graph, towards the Arctic and Antarctic will become a lot more profitable, whereas fisheries everywhere else in the world become a lot less profitable, potentially even destroying communities that rely solely on these, uh, solely on these fisheries and pushing polar fish that no longer have a place to live when new invasive species come completely out of the ecosystems and to extinction. The warming oceans also have a very negative impact on coral reefs, which uh, are one of the biggest biodiversity hotspots aside from fisheries. Um, they can have up to even a thousand species per square meter and the warming oceans can potentially wipe out all of the coral reefs through things like coral bleaching or leaving, making all the fish that the coral reef depends on move towards colder areas. When all the coral is gone, it, it's hypothesized it will be replaced by algal reefs, which as shown here have a lot less biodiversity, almost a lot, less, yeah, a lot less biodiversity and the size of the fish that are able to sustain themselves in the algal areas is a lot less as well, meaning that the fisheries that try and get fish from these algal areas become a lot less profitable, where as the polar fisheries become a lot more profitable. So just some key points. Um, fisheries are complex system systems and like one minor factor that might seem insignificant can throw off the balance of the rest of the system. There's uh, trends towards overall negative impacts on fishing communities and on fisheries themselves, uh, including productivity and revenue. And there's trends toward decreasing biodiversity and smaller fish sizes, which are less desirable um, and less profitable. So hope you enjoyed our presentation. Here are our references and have a great day.